my anything way. Anything <laughs> you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Anything you can be, I can be greater. Sooner or later, I'm greater than you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So angry. Oh, <laughs> welcome to Battle of the Sexes. I'm uh, Dave Swan. This is Nikki Bernal. Hi. You can listen live at Skid Row. Well, honestly, if you're listening live, you know where to listen live right now. <laughs> 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 I'm on top of things. Nice one, Swan. If you want to call in, you can reach us at 1-800-893-9562. Today, our guests are the very mischievous Nick Petrillo. <laughs> hey, guys. How you doing? How you doing? And the delightful... Cat lady herself, I Ro am. Buttersnatch Della Grazzi. Thank you. Yeah. I, am, I was catcher for you. I should have worn my golden pussy mask. No. Uh, it's like a cat. That's more of a show one for your previous you're right, show. You're right. You're right. Oh we're God. on the okay, different show. <laughs> for those of you guys that don't know, Ro is also a co-host on the show before ours. Yes. Blame it on Ginger. You guys got to yes. check her out yes. on that too every single day, right? It's Wednesday. on every. I'm on Wednesdays. The crack. The crack. The hump day. The crack of the right? week. A little. I still I have to work my day job. The other day. <laughs> Not everybody can make a living off pondering dildos, right? Uh, well, you know, it. I did used to sell sex toys, so it's really not a, yeah, but it's not a great living. <laughs> I was gonna say that seems like more something that he would do. Well, I oh, could really? see, I could see in like a Tupperware setting, like you know, you've got a bunch of like yeah. housewives. You're showing them. You know, you said you'd never own one, and I'm like, that actually no. put... That She's actually, been given one. That actually puts me over you at uh, sex Whoa. toy ownage, just because I had a girlfriend who had me, she's like, you need to buy this, and we're keeping this at your place. And I was like, okay, now I'm just a guy who owns a dildo. Okay, wait a so, second. So weird. are you no longer with her? Yeah, no, 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 I haven't been with Have her Have you used it on anybody else? No, 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 Clean it first. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, was, don't clean it that, first. That just was, let it... That was one of those things that got picked up with, like, glove mitts and, like, put into a trash bag <laughs> and thrown out. Like, that's yeah. what, like, yeah. uh, like the dish washer gloves. Yeah. yeah. Do you light it on fire, see a little evil cloud smoke come out? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah Somebody exactly. had a good find in the garbage that day. <laughs> oh my God, just, just some homeless you chick is out there rocking her own. Just happy as all hell. <laughs> Needs money for batteries. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're not watching the video feed, they're calling me out. They're calling Nikki out because I have never owned a dildo. Didn't Ginger give you one? Yeah, she gave me a okay. bullet just now. To start you Again? off? Again? Yeah, a little. This is the she second one. Ooh, she's an starting addict. Out, she's starting me off slowly with a bullet. Yeah, she's, start off slowly. You don't want to get like, do, have you seen the dragon dildo that she has? I it's, have no idea. Oh, what you're the about. monster dick? It? Yeah. Yeah, I looked around the corner like two weeks ago, and uh -huh. I'm like, I think I just saw someone get fucked with a rainbow dick. Falcor's yeah. penis. There's, oh. See, there's there's like the the ATV, like the tricycle, and then you've got your full on racing bike. Like that's the one you have to work up to. So yeah. you just got to start off. And I love the how she was saying, she said, okay, what you want to do is you want to start off dry. And yeah. it started getting clinical, and I was like, this is the most unfun I've ever had in a conversation about pussy. Just, <laughs> but she was just this, confirming. Was just, but yeah. yeah, it was it was very no, and it was it needed to happen. That those kind of things. It's very yeah, gotta, clinical and doctor. Like, but Rose very like this. librarian ask about it right yeah. now. So, yeah. mm -hmm. You gotta have a glass of wine, maybe just to <laughs> kind of loosen up. Yeah. Unless you're in the program, yeah. you have a glass of wine. You guys were confirming my fears, though. You guys were all confirming my fears because my fear with dildos before was that you're putting you like something electric much? into something wet. And she was oh, like, okay. these are meant to not be put in. You're just assuming you you're gonna be wet to start off here. Uh. Usually in your 20s, as a woman, <laughs> you're not really used to like. Oh, you know, you, women start a lot later, oh. often like. Unless you're a porn star, because they apparently hump toilets when they're three. But I'm just saying. Okay. Now, I, um, the first one that somebody gave me was a gag, and it was like, oh, a gag gift, but it was like a rabbit. And it was the one, like the big one with the pearl. Number like one the, selling sex toy. And I go, I'm like, what It was Rip Start, ran on gas. I really was like, hey, <laughs> no. on gas. Yeah, you have no idea. You're like, what the fuck? Right? So, um, I didn't really know what to do with it. This is a car battery? And yeah, I, it was like double, di no, just kidding. Um, but I wrapped it up in a present and put it out in the garbage because I didn't want to take it cross country with me. Oh my God. Because I didn't know what to do with it. And I was like, oh, this it's is like, scary. you're moving. You're going to be lonely for a little while. Take this with you. Well, I, maybe. <laughs> maybe. But I was not like, I have to stay at my dad's house for like a week. I'm not bringing this, packing it up. I'm going to, I'll find one in LA. I'm no. sure. Dad's like, when did I get a lawnmower in your room? I don't <laughs> Are they doing her windows today? Because I don't know. I hear something. I was sleeping on the couch. I'm like, oh, yes, it's perfect. Uh, Dad, don't, don't mind that little hum, all right? Yeah, I was 
was like, no, I could. Uh, Just you so know. you know, there's going to be construction every morning on no. Saturday. <laughs> uh, She's making like, it yeah, sound like it marijuana. Am. Like you can't go on long road trips in it in case yeah. a cop pulls you over. Yeah. You just find one in the next it, state. It's, it's like fine. contraband. Like it's yeah. not yeah. smuggling things, and you're like, okay, now I got to figure out where to put this. Smuggling I gotta sex wrap toys. It in black. I got to. Yeah. Know, I was, I was like, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be fine. I'll find well, something. I mean, <laughs> unless, of course, you have no. Sh- I had a buddy one time. You there do was, have no there's, shame. There's, there's a yeah. sex shop in uh, Pasadena, and we used to go in there just because they used to sell whippets. And so I, I swear <laughs> to God, that's why we went there. So we, 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 we go in there. But my buddy goes in, and he buys, like, you know, uh, a couple of pornos and I think a movie or something. And he walks out. They put it in a brown bag so that people don't know, like, what you're carrying. But yeah. you're coming out of his sex shop. It says La Sex Shop. So La they La know La what you're doing. Shop. The La makes so, it classy, yeah, all right? So, do they throw an E on the end of sex, well, too? what he did was he just he just walked out. And then in front of, like, there were a bunch of people walking by. And I don't know. I don't know if he meant to. I never found out if he meant to do it on purpose or if it was just something he did. But he turned around while the door was still open. He's like, hey, you guys got anything with uh, midgets in it, like just <laughs> shuts it out in the middle, of, and just no shame. So if you have no shame, then you can keep your dildos wherever you want. That's on a, true. Yeah, That's in true. a kitchen cabinet for the guests to see. They make, make have, a lovely centerpiece. I have yeah. seen something with midgets in it and fat chicks. Yeah, it's a it's like a fetish. fetish. There, there's actually a service that you can order. One of my buddies did it for <laughs> another buddy for I was bachelor say, you party. Have a lot of, it was a fat yeah. chick and a midget, and then they order them both, and then they both do stripping. This and, is the most yeah. quiet I've ever been because I have no input on any of these conversations. <laughs> Nikki's like, so I, <laughs> it's like a naked circus. That's basically what it is. Yeah. It's just a naked sideshow. I was going to say, it's more yeah. like a carnival than a circus. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like a cheap Cirque du Soleil, like a cheap, <laughs> weird one. Like No gymnastics there's a mis- done there, though. on a tricycle and a fat chick eating a popsicle. Where there might be some ropes. Gone? Where yeah. is this show but, gone? Yeah. Well, well, we like it within the first 10 minutes, apartment. we all need a shower. Nick's apartment. By the way, this is why it's Battle of the Blabberwockies, because it's going to be a competition of who's talking over who between Nick and Ro. Oh, um, man. I, I, I have a business option for you, Nick. I think you'd make a million dollars if you made bottomless <laughs> Red Bull cans for people to hide their dildos in. Oh, oh my God. Nick's like, I could sell that shit. That's amazing. Yes. Bottomless. Hide your shame. Hide your shame. Yeah. Yeah. Hide, hide your shame. Hide your away. shame. Yes. Dude, why do you have such a Red Bull habit? No, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's okay. It's why, how good. did you find a 64 ounce Red Bull? <laughs> <laughs> why is that Red Bull vibrating? But, okay. You know, um, the problem is you drink you Red wings. Bull because there'd be Red Bull in it. And then. Uh, you'd vibe like you'd masturbate. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. Uh, that's, I mean, that's just now you're just banging yourself on meth. That's yeah, all, that's all I mean that's, that's like all you're doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, I don't need stop. to find anyone else. I have a red boat. Red yeah, bo- red, a red boat. boat. <laughs> that's exactly what you'd be saying. You'd be mumbled mouth and going, "Hey, I'm banging myself." So. I'm totally <laughs> banging. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, Always, uh, Nick. Nick right. taking notes about what to do tonight. No, Nick. I'm uh, not at the not at the show. I mean, tonight when she goes home. I'm like, <laughs> so stay like, dry, baby yeah. powder. <laughs> yeah. She's like, Dave. Yeah. I was taking notes a couple weeks ago when they were like, "This is how you meet a nice girl. You don't send emojis." Oh. And all that fun, like, oh, okay. all right. No winky faces. Cat Oops. photos. They do like cat photos. Cat photos? What said, man have you found that likes cat photos? Date, but we're not dating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like no, cat see, photos. Like, here's the thing. I don't know why it started, but years ago. I called I, you a cat lady. Yeah, so I decided to send him selfies of my cats. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I just send, send him random selfies of my cats. Just a cat over your boobs. Yeah, just just, like, some, just no, random, just the cat, just the cat, not me, just, just the cat. Cat with the spread, like legs spread open. Cat just staring at me. I have two cats, so I have a lot of photos that I can send to them. A relationship with Ro means pussy at all times. It's, it's like a cat shit. calendar you forced everyone to buy. Yes. That's pretty much what well, it is. Well, it's nice when I don't see Ro for a while, and then all of a sudden I start getting them again. <laughs> as soon as I see, she's like, Dave. Yeah, I, I literally go. Oh, I so that way you know Dave. her schedule. She had she had uh, something to do. Then she's got a lot of downtime. So yeah. that's yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Or I'm, I'm like, at oh, work. Rose been busy lately. Or I'm at work and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna save and send Dave some cat photos. That's great because then he's like, how are you doing this? Aren't you? Shouldn't you be at I work? I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I literally go. Hold on. I'll get your drink in a second. I've got to send Swan a cat photo. <laughs> <laughs> this is Swan. He's a big dumb white boy. All right. Priorities, right? You have priorities. Yeah, I do. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, work. <laughs> Sorry, work and, and my restaurant that I work at. Customer. You're like, I don't, don't worry about it. No, all of us at one point work in restaurants, except maybe Nick. Nick, you just sell shit and get fired. Yeah, I oh, usually, yeah? yeah, I usually just, uh, since I've been a kid, I've just been, I just sell things. I just run my mouth and then people buy stuff. I did work. I was selling stuff for a while that had me making food for people and like <laughs> handing out samples. And How that's, was that? Uh, dude, that's a nightmare. 
So that's, uh, it was really good. Like money wise, it was really good. Yeah. Did you so. ever see people circle around for like the fifth time? Like, hey, listen, yeah. this is your fifth free sample. Yeah. They're yeah. cutting you off. Yeah. No, like, and I, would, I do I would, this shit. At least leave for five minutes before you come back. Yeah. Yeah. I would yeah. cut people off. And then people would be, I mean, Did you'd they be get surprised. Ornery? At, yeah. You'd be surprised at how many people get rude. Uh, I had, <laughs> so in San Jose, Northeast San Jose, it's predominantly Filipino. <laughs> and the Filipino ladies, like they, I've never had anybody snap at me like that before. She literally just said, you, now, and then snapped her fingers at me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And, and I just put out my little, oh, so, okay, so I'm going on a five-minute break. Take care. And then I just left. <laughs> so, because I'm like, I'm not serving you. One guy got so mad at me. Uh, I was in uh, Culver City doing, setting up a show, selling stuff, and there was no one around. I was trying to get something started. Then I just didn't make anything. And some guy came up and he said, you've been doing, standing there for 10 minutes. You haven't made me anything. And I was like, Whoa. I was like, I'm just, or, wow, you're, Listen. I gotta go. And then, just, you're like, yeah. well, I'm thinking about it. It's just a Wetzel pretzel, but <laughs> yeah. I'm down. How, like, how do you keep getting fired, though? Because you say yeah. you, like, you're good at getting fired. Yeah, like, I don't know. Some, well, especially anybody knows that. <laughs> He's like, I don't even want to listen to myself at this point. I just, I, I just got to put those down because it's it's getting hot in here and they're around my neck and I'm like, oh, she's I'm just going to wind up sweating. Uh, no, if, if you uh, you swan, you're drenched up a storm, I like it. I, I'm just used to it at this point. The three yeah. of us are used to it. We've We're been fine. working in this studio, well, me and Ro, yeah. at least two years now and yeah, it's, Swan's it's, used to it. Gets it. Hot. I'm just always nice. sweaty. I just... Yeah, <laughs> that's what Dave looked like before he came into the studio. I'm, I'm just furry. All right, just showered. So. Yeah. According to a gay guy, the Thirsty Crow, I'm part werewolf. Oh, you are. You are part werewolf. You're team wolf. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. You're, he yeah, he was you're, 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 you're not werewolf. I would think would be thinner. You're like a wolf bear. So I'm yeah. okay with that. Yeah, it's you like, can be are you piece. part werewolf? I'm uh-huh. twisting my arm here. I'm like, I'm leaving now. Uh, I'm part mad because you just pulled on some some hair. So it's, yeah. we're pulling the hair down there. That's fine. Uh, no, uh, I don't know. Getting fired is getting fired is an art form. I think I think yeah. my best my best one ever was when uh, I think there was like a solid week where I remember I came out of this job and I remember there was a solid week where I had the worst. I was like, you know. I shouldn't work with women. So, and <laughs> okay. because what happened was I was in, I'm in this job and I'm waiting to get, uh, they're, they're telling me, oh, you need to get your sales figures up because you're going to get fired. Then I find out my boss, a female is going around my back, taking like ruining my relationship with customers and then, to, and all this. And then another girl, I was on the phone with a customer. Some girl comes up and says, Hey, I need you to, uh, or would you like one of these brownies? And I said, no, I don't want a brownie. I'm busy. I'm on the phone. And she put the box up to my nose and pushed my nose back. She said, you don't huh. want being playful. What's you, it like to have something shoved in your face yeah, you by been, someone? You ever been, had somebody come up and just like poke you in the middle of your yeah, forehead Yeah, every man I've ever dated, yeah. but it's not the finger. Yeah, and it sucks. And you're, and I'm Did like. Did it leave a brownie dick print on your face? Yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> and then I, I. I flipped out and I was like, look, I don't want any friggin' brownies. And I knocked the box out of her hand. And then later on, I tried to apologize. I went, look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. That was out of my, I I should not have behaved that way. And she turned to me and she said, you you know what you should be sorry for? Being such a bitch. And that's when uh, this other older lady next to her just started cracking up and laughed. And that's when I had had it. I was like, well, you could not be such a, and I called her. Brilliant. You could not be such a cunt. And then that's when the girl next to her said, hey, you're not allowed to use that word. And Don't I said, clap what? for that. She, I, uh, I called her cunt. And the girl next to her said, you're not supposed to say that. And I went, why? Does it strike close to home? And, <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so basically now I called them both cunts. You're going to go out big. And so, yeah. So, but I mean, to me. How come I, she's allowed to call you a bitch? Yeah. You know, she's the other lady. Because it's would, her word. Here's the funny thing. Oh. The other lady, like, she would get mad because me and my other buddy, Steve Holman, like, we would screw around. We would tell each other jokes. And she's like, they're telling inappropriate jokes. But then we would get reamed for telling jokes. We come out and she starts showing, oh, isn't this funny? And it's a picture of this guy with like his dick out. And I'm like, so you can do all the things that you want to do. Double yeah, standards. Yeah, yeah it's a double reported. standard. So, you but yeah, you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't, you can't really. So then he but. comes I'm off as a pussy. You. So um, yeah, she's so. showing me dick pics. All right. Yeah, I'm yeah. tired of looking at dick. Yeah, so that's, a, that's what the report should have. Right? So basically, you got fired. Yeah, so and then I got <laughs> yeah. fired. Well, because then what she did was that that was the first one. But you got to understand, I said it probably about 19 more times because she oh. went, yeah, you're not supposed to say that word up you're a here. Cunt, you're a cunt, you're a cunt, cunt, cunt. Is that what you did? Exactly. Okay. So she went, don't say it up here. And so, oh, so now it's geographically based. I went into the uh, delivery or the inventory room in the back and I went, <laughs> oh, so I'm back here now. Cunt, 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 cunt. I said it all along. Cunt, 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 cunt. 
and I just machine gun fired it. Wow. I just rapid fired it. I tell you. Yeah, and you so. You know how to get fired, buddy. Yeah, exactly. So. If you're going to go out, you go out big. I was going to say, is it yeah. like. You're oh. like an M80 cunty seven. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Just a high <laughs> amount of cunts per minute. So it's. A high uh, amount it's, of cunts per minute. Yeah, time. so just maintaining that. So. Wow. And yeah. do you talk about, you're doing laughs on Saturday night, right? Yeah, yeah. Are you going to talk about that? Is no, no, that no, 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 that's, that's Wait, not. you're doing that's, laughs too? I'm doing laughs on yeah. Friday night. Yeah, and, uh, you're on the. Uh, I don't even know when they when they air it. It's like, like the first time I've really I heard say, that's about when it. yours airs, right? My Saturday. airs on Saturday. Yours airs oh, on. Oh no, fr- no, no! I'm gonna tape yeah. it on Friday. Tape it on. I don't Friday. think nice. you can say the c word on a taping. No, no, no! no you can't. <laughs> it's, it's very. I think you got the wrong letter. Yeah, in there. I, I don't think. Can you say Trader Joe's on it? No. <laughs> I think Trader Joe's is code for C-word, so okay, I yeah. think that's what it is. I, You're I such wonder, a Trader Joe. Uh-huh. I wonder, since you've been fired so much, you know how, like, buffets have the, like, picture of the fat dude that keeps coming that's back him. and eating too much? They have a picture of you at the yeah. unemployment office. Like, do yeah. not let this fool in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This this is the guy. This is the guy. Again? So. Yeah. Really? Again. You were there for a month? Yeah. Well, no. And then the other one, I remember I was at a company where uh, this guy wanted me to, he wanted me to sell security cameras to like people, uh, like businesses and stuff. And the security cameras, everything was in Chinese. He just bought them from China and there were like the menus and everything. And I remember we were someplace and he was like, yeah, you should be selling, shouldn't you be out there selling stuff to people? And I was like, if you gave me something to sell and he didn't and he got really offended. And the next day they were like, yeah, you can't talk to the owner that way. And I was like, (laughs) But it's the truth. I don't have anything to sell. I just told the truth. Like, yeah, you can't do that. So, <laughs> wow. and yeah, you just, it, there's, yeah, it's weird. If I, you see Nick Petrello in downtown wearing a trench coat, he's just selling watches, okay? Yeah, yeah I'm, just, sell. I'm just selling yeah. watches from China. So you should try selling Avon or something. Herbalife, <laughs> Herbalife, bro. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that what Jeez. everybody does? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, and then they lose all their money because they got invested in it or something. Mon- Mona your, V. Your new nickname could be Nick Pyramid Scheme Patrillo. Come yes. on. Yes, yeah. yes, Nick Ponzi Patrillo. That's how we're doing it. Ponzi scam. That's how we're doing it. I've all, I've never gotten like I've never gotten fired. I've literally like had to make up excuses why I, like when I left Fridays, TGI yeah. Fridays, I was mm-hmm. like I gotta go. Um, I'm getting another job in Manhattan. They're like, oh, do you want to trans? Oh, no, I told them I was moving to Manhattan. I'm like, you want to transfer? They no. offered you a transfer. They offered me a transfer. Like, no, I'm going to go because it just- sucked. It was the worst job ever. What's well, TGI Fridays? Well, I had to wear suspenders. This is the days you had to wear suspenders. Did you have to wear flair. It was called Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> and you had to wear 12 of them. And a hat How? to show your... Wear a hat to show your personality. I'm like, really? What tells somebody to go fuck themselves? You had that little finger button. I got one of those hats that looks like a balloon dildo. Just kind of... <laughs> yeah, just eat a dick, sir. It, eat just, a dick. And for especially... Your you want, is, is, are people... Have you worked multiple uh, kind of serving jobs? Yes. Or is, yes. is, is it me or does it seem like TGI Fridays would be an environment where they could be more rude to you? Oh, they're awful. Really? They're, they're yeah. awful. Because it's like this mentality, like, I'm at Fridays, I want a lot of Jack Daniel wings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and my goblet of Long Island iced tea, which, by the way, is a ripoff, just to let you know. And you literally are Soul busting sugar. your ass. Yeah. And you have so much side work. And I just was like, this blows. And I, I had to walk out. And I literally was like, like, you could be fired. I'm like, please. Do Let it. me go. Let me go. And they're like, but we're fine. You're okay. They're uh-huh. like, no, we'll take it out of your tips first, but you can work tomorrow. Yeah, basically, yeah. I remember I walked with no money that night, and I literally was like, I got to get out of here. And then I went to another restaurant. Uh, I, I yeah. always wanted yeah. to work at Dick's Last Resort when I was younger. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that, that, was that spot? One. Yeah. That was like that restaurant where yeah. they treated like you asshole. like crap yeah. on purpose. Yeah. Because I remember I was playing college softball, and we had a tournament in San Antonio. Yeah. And one of the biggest Dick's Last Resorts is there. And we were all dressed up, you know, in those wind suits. We're all matching. Mm-hmm. As soon as we walk in, one server goes, yo, I got the rug munchers right there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, what? Here. I, I like that. Here, yeah. I like that. Allowing you to speak your mind against the people who deserve it. Oh, that's great. That's because... Yeah, he no, was someone, like, "We have no fish tacos on the menu." I just letting you know that, guys, right now. That's so amazing. He was just like cracking jokes. I get a job there. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. you and fit you in. I yeah. would. Oh yeah, I would. I'd be. I say it now. I mean, I'd, that's I'd what I like to bartend because you can be a little bit more of an oh, yeah. ass than a server. When I bartend, literally, people go, "Excuse me, do you have soy milk here?" I go, "Where are you right now? <laughs> okay, where are you? Are you at Starbucks? No, you're not." <sighs> Order a regular this cappuccino and shut up. So I'm yeah. glad you got done being homeschooled yesterday. Uh, now that you're out and you're unsheltered, yeah. uh, have some real milk. I have so. a, a regular of mine. She's so, she thought like. She, By regular, she means a drunk. 
Yeah, yeah. She That's really wasn't much. used to like how I, I was when I got here because people were like, oh my God, I'm in a real hurry. I got to get out of here. I have an appointment. So I need to order my food and get out of here. I say, hey, you want to cut the story? Give me the order. What? <laughs> like, <laughs> I was just, I just can't. But yeah, well, I could have had your food out by now. I don't yeah. need the backstory. I don't care what uh-huh. you did last night. I don't care how hungry you are today. I don't care that you skipped breakfast. Do you want your chicken tacos or what? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how I go. That's how I oh serve. My God. And, you know, on occasion, I get yelped. But hey. I get yelled. <laughs> oh, what, what, what do you want? They're, they're, they're literally, I mean, I remember uh, I went into a uh, Rubio's recently, and there was a guy, he was, I swear to God, he was so rude. He told one of the, uh, this is what happened. I walk in, there's a fat guy, he's yelling about his tacos. He's from the South, and he's yelling. He's like, man, I wanted the carne asada on the corn tortillas and this on the flour. And he's yelling, right? And so then the guy behind the counter just goes, look, I need to, like, walk away. Or you can see a look on his face. Yeah. He walks away, and now there's nobody at the counter. I'm behind him. The guy doesn't know that me and my buddy are standing there. And he turns to his wife, and this is the words that he literally turned to her and he said, man, fucking minorities. <laughs> and he said oh, it, and he said it loud, no. super loud, so that everybody in the place could hear it. And there's, dude, everyone in there, and that's, uh, like, it, it was just rude. And then I remember seeing, this is a true part of the story, yeah, I see one Mexican guy lean out from the kitchen and just make this, like, messed up face, like, all right, I got it, I got this, I got this, and then head uh, back in. His and, balls yeah. are going right now in your car. Into the tacos. tacos. <laughs> Into the tacos. That's what's happening. Hopefully they're Mexican balls, because then they'll taste really did good. Anybody, like <laughs> did anybody say anything to him? No, no one said anything. Like me, like my, one of my buddies was standing next to me and he just went, Jesus Christ. And that's when the guy turned around and kind of saw it and realized he was being judged. And I think that finally hit him. And he went, huh, all right, well, we're just going to get our thing and go. And then finally toned it down. I think it, it takes that third party oh. kind of thing. Yeah. But I would have been like, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Because you never know if you're on that show, what would you do? Yeah. You, you know, work oh. jobs, right? Yeah, I'm working one right now. I bartend too. Yeah. And you bartend, yeah. Yeah. But Yelp is like a Nazi. Anytime I think I've done something it's bad snitching. or pissed off a customer, oh, yeah. I always end up checking it the next day oh, yeah. just to make I sure don't, I don't get told on. I've been yeah. Yelped, yeah. I just oh, don't even say my name. The guy yelped me four weeks later. Like, he kept drafting it. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> erasing it. He kept it. editing. <laughs> I mean, it's like, He really, wants to be adding, useful uh, and funny. He's on adding Yelp more review. words of the word cunt. He's just yeah. keeps adding cunt. You can spell my name wrong. He actually talked to Petrillo, had him give him some hints. Oh, my God. And, by the way, the girl that he was with came back months later and said, oh, my God, the guy. I was so rude to the to the girl because I kicked him out. And then she goes, I have a restraining order against it. How come he's allowed to yelp? How yeah. come that guy's allowed to yelp? Well, yeah. I, I had two people making out in my well, and I actually ended up doing this. Um, they were making out, and I couldn't get them to stop. So I was like, you guys should get the special for the next drink. And the guy goes, what? And I was like, it's called a room. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> you finally got a chance to get yeah, with someone? Yeah, I finally got a chance to say <laughs> it. That's uh- amazing. Uh, well, I'll tell you something. I've been I've been doing a YouTube thing. It's called Rose Restaurant Rants. I yeah, do it every oh, that's Monday. Cool. Oh, I'll tweet. Yeah, because it's only it's for my server people. Yeah, because it's, yeah. it's like yeah. you know what it's like to deal with the public. It's like I take one uh. issue and I just go off about it for like two minutes and then I'm done. And I get a lot of aggression out. Can you, you can yeah. you come over here and uh you mean after I take care of the other ten people who got here before? You? Hey. Oh yeah. You, oh, know, I, oh, oh. No. you know what's fun for me is fun for me is being in a group where there you have that snotty customer and then I'm get to like attack that person and, and like, then yeah, they go, Yeah. What do you want? I'll just have a number two because I'm not a difficult bitch. So that's you oh. know, you get to do that. You I'm know, I'm not, you. Uh, you don't need to do anything special for me because I'm not a complete waste of your time and I'm gonna tip you, you know, and then you get to like make yeah. fun of that person. Yeah. Someone so. whistled at me once and then it's oh, like I no. turned around and they go snap, don't as soon as no. they did that, they're like I am so sorry. I'm like, I was about they to say put apologize. I go, I'm like, I was about to put your checkbook in my mouth and walk over with like a dog. They're like, that sounds about right. We're sorry. <laughs> yeah, you should be. I've already done, I've already ranted about service animals. I'm sorry. Excuse me. If your service animal's pink, don't even call it a service animal. You're not I'm even sorry. allowed to ask if it's a service I animal. I know. Yeah, which you know how you trick them? You know how you trick them? Is that your pet? And, and then they go, they go, no, it's my service exactly. dog. Exactly. We've come up with all kinds of tricks. Because you it's like, why aren't you allowed to ask if it's a service yeah, animal? Yeah, and also, like, keep it off the bench. It doesn't need to lick your bread plate, okay? Yeah, Get the fuck, sanitation, no. sanitation. This, this yeah. very flamboyantly gay man said, you embarrassed me in front of my family. And my dog. Okay, and I was like, sir, Princess you Pickle embarrassed Earth. yourself, okay? <laughs> you need to calm the fuck down. Don't fucking... Yeah. They're called stereotypes for a reason, not ambitions, okay, all right? Yeah, yeah, it's like, I'm so... And also, too... If you're wheeling in your service dog, that's not a service dog. Yeah. <laughs> it should walk. It should walk. It's supposed to help you. You don't help it. And it's... a cat is not a service animal. We had a woman uh, rolling a cat. No way. That is not a... 
How, oh, I looked well, it up. It's an emotionally, yeah, emotional beha- like an emotional like misery loves company. We're both crippled. Cat. And that's why people have them on. They're like they get their little pet chihuahua dropkick yeah. dogs. Uh-huh. No, but it's not even emotional at that point. It's like okay, I get it. You're mentally weak. You can't be alone. Get like therapy. this is. I like how your crush. eyes are just getting bigger and bigger get as you're therapy. saying this. Nick's just getting more enraged. No, but, but it's, like, it's, like, it's like it's silly. Are you kidding me? How can you not stand it? Just just to, and you're doing this just to be a burden, just to stick out and be like, oh my god, I got here. This is my oh, special needs dog. This it's like is okay, my great. Special teacup pig. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, you are. <laughs> An idiot. Uh, See, I don't deal with the animals because I'm at a bar, like an actual yeah. bar that can't bring them in. Don't. See, I do occasionally, but it's really? not. You know, people aren't really, they have their dog, but they never, it's like they stay outside with their dog. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Okay, well, here's what bothers me too. I just did a rant about it. It's about when you hear something in the news and people are like, oh my God, no spinach. Don't eat spinach. Or, oh my, oh my God, Corona. This, this week was cool. Yeah, oh, the lemons. Or the tomatoes. The lemons. Oh yeah, the tomatoes. <laughs> Nobody gets tomatoes. Nobody gets tomatoes. Oh my God. Or when there was like a, a lime drought, like everybody was I, like, oh. "Are you gonna have enough for my group and my Coronas?" I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. we didn't, my bark stopped carrying limes. Oh, we did too. Because it, yeah, it was too. more than meat. It was more than meat. It's like the the drug cartel should have switched to limes because the they would have made a killing. <laughs> we, everybody was buying black market limes in Tijuana. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it hey, was insane. Sally, I got some great limes for you. Like, oh, you want some limes? Nobody give out limes. It's like keep them on the side. And people look so. They're like, "How do you how do you not carry limes?" I'm like, "Because there's a shortage. There's a drought. What do you mean that doesn't?" happen. Yes, it does. If there's a freeze, there's a there's a shortage. If there's a drought, there's a shortage. There's if, a cartel? You know, there's you, there's a shortage. A shortage. you know that you can have a beer without a lime, right? Like, yeah. it totally is not going to kill you. Uh, oh, yeah. If it's Mexican, you can't no, have you can. it without. No, you have no, you, yeah. you got to put a little salt on the rim it of it. might as well. 86 the beer. Might as well. Uh, and I'll now, attest, you cannot yeah. have a Mexican beer and without And now Corona's been the big thing. Have Preach you heard it? Corona? Corona is uh, now the big Piss thing. Water. It's been recalled. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. of glass. Because some schmuck probably cracked one and drank it like an idiot. Oh, there's glass. I got a piece of glass. Oh, my yeah. God, there's glass. No, I also hate the people that, like, will flag you down all the way on the other end of the bar so you hurry over and then they <sighs> go, oh, no, 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 whenever you have time, it's okay. I'm when patient. I'm patient. Ch- whenever you get a chance. I'm like, come back in seven days then if you don't want expedited delivery. I, I, I also hate when they're just like, oh, I want this, and then you give them it, and they go, and I also want this. Yeah. And th- I'm Tell like, me all at once. I go, all right, well, I'm going to take care of those four customers who have their order ready, and then I'll yeah. come back when you're, the like, you know, I, my, my biggest pet peeve, too, is like, you don't have any customers. You're just standing there, right? Mm-hmm. And you're just there, and they're like, hey, can I get the check? I call when that you get Monday. A, when you get a chance. When you get, get a, a chance. chance. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I'm standing here. I'm going to print it up and hand it to you. Look I don't like need when you get a chance. Like, I haven't gotten your fucking water, okay? So if you guys don't know, this is now the Battle of the Bar Ranch. I know. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I know. Nick's I just like, get so mad. Nick goes, I'm used to being on the other yeah, side. Sorry, no, 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 I am on the other side. But that's the thing. I'm surprised to people on the other side. Like, when when like people I'm with do that, you get yeah. embarrassed. You're like, it's embarrassing, dude, why, why right? would you, why would you, embar- why don't you just just be a person and, oh, they didn't bring you, oh, they brought you corn instead of flour tort- Oh, yeah, that's fuck too bad. You just fucking right. eat it. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. when I used to work at Sal's, they had uh, the bakery in the back. And someone's like, I'm. You don't admit that you've worked there. Just right. True. <laughs> just a, true. True. The, uh, the IRS will be contacted. I know. Oh, yeah. No, there, I don't even. I haven't been there in two years. Did you claim oh, okay. your tips those yes. two years? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. No, I, that was, the schedule came out like the next day. It goes, hey, I need you to work tomorrow. I'm like, oh, fantastic. But no, someone came in and they're like, do you guys have like a gluten free menu? I go, I'm like, how gluten free are, like, is it celiac disease? Or they go, no, 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 no. It's like, she goes, I just don't like gluten. I'm like, I, can't guarantee nothing back there hasn't touched flour. I they don't get, like you gluten. Sometimes I just want to throw some gluten in just to see if they're actually allergic. Yeah. You are being yeah. so inconsiderate to my disease. I'm like, I'm allergic to penicillin, so have fun with that. Yeah. There, there's actually a website for these people to meet up. Do you know that? A gluten there, there, there's, a, there's a gluten, glutenpeoplemeat.com gluten or whatever. Gluten gluten and people? They, yeah, and they, they meet up to, you know, help, you know, spread their disease. And they get to apparently. go to like an STD. Well, restaurants yeah, as a pretty group. much. They're just breeding weaker children. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, your kid's going to get to 10 and get killed by his birthday cake. Like, that's what's going to happen. Some people, yeah. it's just because they don't uh, like it, though. Because, yeah. like, I've had girlfriends that'll lie and say they have shellfish allergies just so they don't get crab. In like a sushi roll, they'll be like, I cannot have crab. Yeah. I can't. I'm allergic. I'm like, no, you're not. Yeah. Somebody came in and said, uh, I'm allergic to all spices um, except oregano. What the fuck are you doing here? It's an herb. <laughs> go, oh, yeah, you're working on a Italian joint. Yeah, yeah. go home. So, you, know, <laughs> you want to know what somebody ordered the other day? Um, allergic to garlic and oil. He came Let's up go to get me. Italian. He goes like this. He goes, 
uh, Ro, I have to tell you this order before I put it in. Sure. She goes, I want a mimosa, no orange juice, and instead of champagne. Someone did that? Yeah, they, I want a double shot of vodka with fresh lime juice and muddled mint. Bitch, that's what? a mojito. That's a mojito with, with no with sugar. Vodka. Yeah. <laughs> Someone came in the other day. They're like, I want, vodka. A, I want a mimosa. I don't like orange juice. I'm like, well, that's kind of the key ingredient. Yeah. To, uh, uh, I just like champagne. Want, that's called champagne. Do you just want have pineapple some... juice? Yeah, uh, let's I'll, try that. I'll have Oreo without the cookie. That's what I want. Yeah. Just yeah. give me so that. So you, just want, you want some of that sweet, sweet cream. Yeah, All right. Exactly. Well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We're totally going to stop. Yeah, no. It's pretty much got out of hand. Yeah. Anyway, so this is Battle of the Sexes. Okay, so we yeah. have like little challenges. Okay. He actually won the secret one because he cussed first. I, 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 I was like listening. I'm like, why haven't either of them? Like, it took I 10 the minutes. That's right. Yeah. I would have expected. And no, bitch was the first one he said. Yeah. I'm like I, sitting I, I'm oh. like, someone's got to swear fucking I'm soon. I'm yeah. usually the first one. I know. Bro. I was like, all right, this is going to be knocked out in like God. five seconds. All right. <laughs> hey, fucking how are you guys <laughs> doing? Yeah. 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 Fuck you fucking fuck faces. <laughs> exactly. But the next one we have is actually Battle of the Braggarts. Mm -hmm. Oh. So you guys get to brag about yourself for 30 seconds. Whoever brags best wins that one. Oh. So he's already up. Well, he's already up because he got Fox. Because he got Fox? Yeah. Isn't that a braggart thing? Well, well you got to do it. No, he has to do it like now. Sequence. Like I'm bragging about... Oh, like yeah. if you're you like, oh yeah, about? like if you were if like, yourself. oh yeah, but I did this and I've done that and I've yeah. done this and I've uh -huh. done that. Okay, are you going? Yeah, yeah but like, uh, yeah, thirty like, seconds. Like saying Five. you ain't got nothing on me. Exactly. You ain't got nothing on me. I just moved into my car and moved my TV and tab attached it to the roof and I, I don't, I, dude. There's nothing to brag about in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, are you putting me on the spot for? Are you shitting me? So, Jesus. How about, I got, you know to, I got gonna... to touch Snooki's ass on MTV and blah, 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 blah. That's a brag? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ. Yeah. High That's five you see if you don't get itchy palms. So, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Diseases. Oh, yeah. Spreading diseases. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. You good? It's like one of those gluten good? groups. No, We're good. I see the fucking crabs. Okay, look. I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're like crawling around on my head. <laughs> All right. All right. So you want to brag about yourself? Uh, yeah, I want to brag. Uh, I have an apartment that has a separate living room and bedroom. Oh! Yeah, thank you. Oh! 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 I've been cut from celebrity rehab. Yeah! Yeah! Um, I've had a lot of TV credits, but none of them aired. Yeah. yeah. That's right. I went on lingo and I lost and got a t shirt. Thank you. Thank you. I opened for Lisa Lampanelli for six years and have shit to show for it. Yeah. Yeah. I just had to go to a 12 step program for it. Yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd say Ro won that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Good job, bro. Oh, do I get the clap? Bro, oh, the clap. The battle. You get that clap, not yeah. the... Not that. <laughs> not, not the clap. Not the clap. Nick's Thank hand. you. My boyfriend's very happy. <laughs> yeah, my boyfriend's happy about that. It's like, oh, all right, we're you, good. You went to the show and got the clap. Great. So you also have you do blame it on Ginger today. Yeah. And then you also do silly ass podcasts. I yes, at John Love. I used to do yeah. silly ass podcasts too. I yep. was in the first round of nice. silly ass podcasts. Yeah. So I'm in the yeah we we're on the John Lovitz network and then we're on the Skid Row Studios network. I love it because yeah. at least it's not in the basement anymore with them hot boxing, smoking I weed. I, I was just like, I can't do this show no more. That's just my apartment they go to now. God. I, I couldn't because I was one of the few that like didn't smoke weed and you yeah. come in, it would be like a cloud. Oh, yeah. yeah they love smoking weed. They yeah. love smoking weed. We don't smoke it, obviously, at the club. Yeah. But, yeah. They love smoking because you're at the club when you're taping yeah. the podcast. They like smoking so. weed and talking but about I, the six. I did have to get drunk. On the show. Yeah. I was like drunk to bait. I'm like, so how often do you do that show now? Uh, the silly ass. We just started. We just started oh, okay. on John Lovitz, you know, podcast, and then we have our running comedy shows that we do. Oh. So, so we have the running comedy live shows, but we just started the John Lovitz Network. Do they still do the creepy McCreeperton? <laughs> no, Sketch? but I will tell them Nikki Bernal says bring him back. <laughs> yeah, Jamal used to play this character that would come to like oh, the okay. shows and be like the creeper that would come up to be like, oh, Nick Petrello, <laughs> you're my favorite. You talk about pizza so good. I love pizza too. <laughs> yeah, I will tell you, we had like a meeting at my house. We were like, okay, we're going to have a meeting and we're going to get everything together, like a production meeting. And we drank so much tequila. That was every production yeah. meeting. And Jamal like, we're like uh, Jamal's like, oh man, I got to go home. We're like, well, the bus like at 2 a.m. We're like, dude, Sleep on our couch. It's fine, right? Yeah. Jamal's like, I don't even remember. We put like some messages on the Facebook group and he goes, I don't remember writing any of this. Or I woke up in a fetal position on Rose's couch. <laughs> oh my 
my God. That's and that was our production meeting. I was going to say, that's every writing session. Someone's like, hey, you want to get together and write? And just turns into Drunk. drinking with notebooks. Oh, like, yeah. that's it. Oh, yeah. And then we, like, mapped out our game plan and some messy things. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, this is amazing. We're making shit happen. We, we just go, spray painted a wall Oh, no, drunk. you would love this. We like, go like this. Okay, our potential to make for comedy, we've high-ended it $8,000 a month. Like, oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> successful. See, we... Our writing we're gonna cross promote. We're gonna this. make wristbands. We're gonna make oh, yeah. T-shirts. <laughs> and that was after like a this. battle. <laughs> yeah. Nick, are you kidding? That's you before and after a show, too. He gets drunk during the show, and then you and Neff exit the show going, okay, where we're getting drunk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, It's I usually mean, no, Neff's place. No, for, for, but, but, yeah, either we're, I think when I was starting, there was some times where I got, like, seriously, seriously fucked up. Uh -huh. And then, yeah. but now, I won't get I'm fucked up. I'm aware. I won't get fucked up before the show. First of all, fuck you. Second of all, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. And second it's of all, totally fuck you. Me. No, <laughs> I, I seriously, I, I, I've at least, like, I'm like, okay, if there's no more comedy to do, then I'm going to go ahead and, and get, go to Neff's get house. drunk with yeah. comics. Yeah. So. I stopped going to Neff's house after bars close. Because I'm like, I'm going to be drinking there till 6 in the morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but then he'd be like, it's okay, you can use my regular bed, because I don't sleep on my regular he bed. He does I sleep on the bed it's in the so living weird. room. It's weird. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh, which he has the, a bed in his living room because he'll work on his computer and then just go to bed right there next to him. He can't get up and like no, he no. can't walk well, to well, the bedroom. Well, 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 yeah, plus, I, I know for he like he likes the fact that the the, the TV's, TV's out there, there and he can wheel it and yeah. he's like me. Like I actually I I sleep better when the TV's on. Cause then, oh instead, yeah, I can't have I, any noise. I, I, I can't. Oh, see, I pop the TV on. No, put see, the I, I'm, timer the, I'm on. the kind of person that, like, when I'm in bed and there's nothing else going, I'm left with my own thoughts, and that's just gonna keep me up all night. So, <laughs> yeah, so I need the TV. I need like Family Guy or you're a creature adult. of two foot comfort. It yeah. has to be like oh, two really? feet yeah. away from you. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's how yeah. it is. So, and it's got to be occupying my brain at all times. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So I have a question. Okay. You're also, I, you also teach comedy. I do. How's that going for you? Well, I don't have a class right now, so it's going I have no right. idea why I'm asking. There's another brag. <laughs> oh, there's the snort. Yeah, we I got did, it. Um, I've, do, I've taught, like, I've done private coaching. I've taught, I taught at a comedy club, which I will remain nameless because they didn't pay me very well. Yeah, I'm a, I, uh, not you know a the, Yeah. Um, I uh, literally, like, after six weeks, I'm like, this is my pay. But you should be doing it because you like comedy. Totally and you're doing it. everything for free? Yeah. No, um, but that's because yeah. it's our club. I'm going to teach these comics how not to work for See, free. See, that's the thing. Um, if you're a teacher at an elementary school, at least 75% of your students are going to go on to be doctors and lawyers and yeah. whatnot. When you're teaching comedy, you're, you're like, teaching yeah. them about and failure. And also, you get you're tenure and a failure. paycheck as a teacher. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So. No, I mean, I actually really, the reason why I teach is because um, I enjoy it. Like, I feel like a lot of the comedy teachers that are out today, they don't do comedy. Comedy. No. I yeah. mean, they really don't. They teach stand up and they don't do any comedy. That fucking drives me crazy. Or they do yeah. improv. They do, yeah. Or, yeah. Or they go, oh, well, I used to do comedy and now I teach. It's like, I, I like, because I don't just teach like the, the pretty stuff about it. I go, we're going to go to a bar. You're going to perform at Liam's. That's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you're going to go to Park okay, Bar. People, you should bring him to Big Fish. Yeah, I should. Yeah. So it's <laughs> <laughs> a rough one. Get heckled by uh, the bartender who yeah, lives here. Billy uh, Billy, who uh, walks Billy. around with a hammer and a bull whip. Like, just yeah. uh, he also has a noose under the chair now. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you can kill yourself right there. So anyway, um, the thing is, I teach it. So basically, I like to teach because, listen, I actually used to take class. Like, I started because I took a seminar and then I performed. Oh, on a seminar. seminar. That's official. Yeah, it was like I was I didn't know anything. Was about it a stand weekend? Up. What's that? No, it was Wednesday night. I'll never forget. My comedy anniversary is coming up on September. Oh, 24th. congratulations. Bro. Yes, 15 years. 15 years. 15 years. Thank you. I've and used this button more today than ever I like before. That. That's nice. And the thing is. When I started, Lisa, that's how I started opening for Lisa because she was the MC of that night. And uh, it was literally like, I, I was like, ooh, I found what I was supposed to do, blah, blah, blah. And then I went on the road. She taught a class that I took. Oh, really? Yeah. So basically, I would just get, like, I just wanted to learn about comedy. I had no idea what I was doing. You know what I mean? I got a notebook. I started, oh, this is amazing premise. Roaches <laughs> in New York. Like, <laughs> like, everybody, like, it's amazing. Yeah, totally. Nobody's uh, ever done that before. never been done. Yeah. But, I mean, I literally, but she used to take me, like, it was, this was before any fame or anything. Like, I was in these rough bars where you're like, oh, fuck, I don't know. You I can mean, conquer that. Yeah, I bombed a lot. I mean, I bombed. I've tanked. I've had really rough shows. I've had really great shows. But I literally just learned. I was in the trenches. Like, I had spots at like 2.45 in the morning on the prompt. Like, I did, but I had to create my own levels. Right. You know, like, I had to say, okay, I can't bring anybody to a show. Like, I had to create from like a bringer to paying like that. And I just, I just had to create my own levels. People don't learn that anymore. 
No. It's all about all. like, oh, book a bring. Like, I get it. Bringers are necessary evil. But you know what the thing is? Yeah, but like, they weren't when we started. Though. No, they weren't. And they're not like See, they, they are today. They were when I started. Yeah. They're no, not they like they I are started. today. When I started. Lucky. Yeah, and it was fucking rough in New York. If you showed up with three people and you were supposed to bring five, they'd be like, sorry. See you later. And like, see, and you're like, fuck, you know. But literally, um, I just think that it's all different today. And now people just go for the glam and the YouTube. And it's it's an art. People don't know it's an art form. Like, we work on this shit yeah. all the time. You're putting yeah. your body, mind, and soul on yeah. stage. and you're up there being vulnerable. And if you're not, then, I mean, I don't know what you're doing, but it's like, for me, it's like, you're putting your soul out there. Yeah. I've, you had, know? I've had friends that go, eh, this is free tickets but I don't want to pay for parking yeah. and I'm like fuck and, and, yeah. and, and I'm like I'm like wait hold on a second do you know how many thousands of dollars I've spent in gas uh -huh. coffee paying and open mic like when they say yeah, pay let's your go with dues, this coffee when they say pay your dues you were literally yeah. with paying, money paying your dues I maxed yeah. out credit cards for my car oh, yeah. from driving yeah. and groceries and get and I mean I remember I saw my mechanic twice for an oil change in like two weeks I drove like six thousand miles you know like Ooh. you're just like all over the, like, people go, oh, the gig's far. It's about 30, 45 that's minutes nothing. away. That's not fucking far. Yeah. Try no, Washington, close. okay? Try, try going to Victorville. No. Yeah. yeah try, but, try driving 19 hours and listening to the Nanny Diaries and you want to kill yourself. Just try that. Why okay? were you listening to the Nanny Diaries? The, the headliner, he, oh Justin, he wanted to buy a book on tape. So that's the guy CD, headliner yeah. picked. He goes, this is cheap. I go, okay, get it. <laughs> okay, try I, I remember it. having it to drive awful. to Hesperia to like feature oh. with Jeff Keith for Andy Dick. And yeah. I'm driving by myself. And I'm like, fuck, three hours? Oh, Books yeah. on tape are great, actually, I stopped for, in to a, be honest. You know, I stopped in Hesperia to make some gas money to get to Vegas yeah. <laughs> to do a show. Like I was like, oh, I'll hit up Hesperia on my way to that Vegas to work for free. Like I'll work for 50 bucks in Hesperia so to I get gas money to Vegas. Vegas for free. Exactly. Uh -huh. you know, so I, it's like what we do, people don't under like people get it, but they don't really get what yeah. it's. They go, "Oh, it's really hard." No, it's not even just being hard, like on stage. It's like the pro, like the business of the it. The business it's of just, it. Oh, are you getting paid uh, yet? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Dad, I'm exactly. not getting paid yet. Yeah, and like you're, you got to deal with your parents, well, and you got to deal with like, and then you actually, when you get to a point, you got to go, "Hey, I can't do the show." And like some guy, offer, I mean. It's it's fine, but he's like, oh, can you do a show out Marina Del Rey? Well, I have to ask you how much does it pay because it's going to take me two hours to get there on a Friday yeah. night. And he goes, we'll give you at least fi and I know who you're 15 talking about. bucks. I'm like, Fift 15 bucks. Yeah, you're like, Okay, listen. It. But it's yeah. exposure. Mm -mm. Mm. Well, plus, like those three hour away sets, if you have like a bad night or something happens, then you got to drive three hours back with oh your own thoughts, just oh, yeah. sitting there thinking about it. You're listening to your uh, set on I've the way home. San Juan Capistrano yeah. and then Colton in one night. And by the like, I'm driving back, I'm like, oh, What's funny is that every every business in America is a pyramid scheme, and uh, no, they all are. If you think about it, all yeah. the way up to CEO, it's a pyramid scheme. You want to mm -hmm. be middle management and whatever. Uh, and w the comedy is the one pyramid where, dude, we're not even on the pyramid. <laughs> like, do you understand You're that? Not. Because no, if you think about it, I watched one of my comedy buddies. I, we drove out to the Inland Empire. He, somebody uh, paid him one hundred fifty dollars to do a show, and I saw this guy with a stack of money like this, just oh, yeah. a stack that he was holding. It took his paw, his whole paw to wrap around and it was all 20s. And he was like, so we said 120, right? And he's like, no, 150. And he's like, 130? And he's like, fine. Like, okay. And I'm like, you're arguing over $10? I know. With, yeah. I know. with my friend who's got like nothing. And so, okay, great. So, and then they, they want you to bring people because they right. they can't do marketing. And then they want you to- That's so my favorite is the unknown club. Oh, yeah. They teach a marketing class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. And, and, well, and that's the thing. That's the thing that's messed up is that you have, like, there's- there's producers out there that I know that, you, that I'm like, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they, how, oh, where does, but well, gonna, the one guy I love, where does Mike Sotero find the time to sleep? He doesn't. <laughs> where he, does Mike I, he's my neighbor. Do, Trust yeah. me. He does not sleep. Dude. He works, 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 works. That's it. And then he works at the griddle in the morning yeah. till like four in the afternoon Jeez. because they're done by four. And then he goes and does three or four shows, two that he's producing, yeah. comes home and then just starts it all over and, again. And I watched, I watched uh, uh, another friend of mine who he's like that. He does like a lot of shows and he, he mm -hmm. produces, he's writing material. He's hitting up multiple open mics a night. And then I watched him. At a sold out show at a very well known, I'm not going to mention who it is, but uh, at a sold out show. And the manager was ripping into him hardcore, really? going, Yeah, this could possibly be your last time here. And I asked him, I was like, What's the problem? And he was like, Well, they're just mad because that someone was in the back trying to record a set. 
I'm like, you don't control that. And plus, you sold out this entire place. Right. What are they giving you? And you'd be surprised at how little they get. Oh, oh so. yeah. Well, I got a, I got an actually impressive story for you. I won't say who the comic is, but he was try- he was producing a show out of town and was paying like major headliners to be on the show. And when he hit me up and a couple people, he's like, yeah, I'll throw you a hundred bucks to come down here and do 30 minutes, whatever. He was literally using his own tax refund money to try to do his own show and do it the right way. That way he could build relationships wow. in comedy. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know. At first I'm like, how'd you get the budget to do this? Because he put on like five or six good shows in a row and then could start doing a trade-off for okay. other shows. Because yeah. he was a new comic, like brand, brand new. Mm-hmm. And when I finally asked him, he's like, I got to be honest with you. He's like, this will be the last show that I actually produced because I just ran through my tax refund. Jesus. And I was like, are you kidding me? And he goes, yeah, I was paying out of pocket because I wanted to get to know good comics and be surrounded by them. And yeah. no one was putting me on good shows. So I was like, I'll put myself on a good show that I pay for. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Like, that's dedication to spend yeah, that, that much, $6,000 in tax refund just oh, to do. Jump? Just- well, I, I think he like, what, I think he had six thousand. Well, no, I think it was like he had been saving his tax yeah. ref, tax oh, that's, refunds. That's dedication. Yeah. Shit. Wow. And if I had known, I felt kind of bad. I'm like, shoot, this isn't even budget. This is a dude's tax refund that he's paying me with, and I had no idea. But I was wow. I was impressed because he was that dedicated to try to do you. good shows. So yeah, put out a lot. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. Do we have another yes, another battle? Do. Oh, we have another battle. You guys what? are tied right now. Okay, we're tied. It's your mama. We're t- I th- she won the last one. Yeah, yeah. but you won yeah. the cussing won the first one. Oh, won the cussing one? Oh, nice. So now you got <laughs> oh, it. You just realized I that. Thought, I thought you that. Won, I no, I thought that meant I we, like I was going first in the battle. No, no. that's a challenge. Oh, okay. That's so we're one and one. Well, All right. Fuck, 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 so fuck, so, so Rose got to call it in the air. Call it, Ro. Heads. Okay, it's heads. So you got to decide who goes first in the yo mama joking. Nick could go first. Nick, you got to start with the cut down. The yo mamas. Um, eight mile. Well, yeah, yeah kind of, kind of eight mile ish. And plus, also, if, if like I don't know, this is this is weird for me just because well, there were so many yo mama jokes when I was coming up that I'm like, oh my god, how do I? You can use them. You can yeah. use you can them. You can use them. Yeah, no. right? it's not like you're stealing material. I mean, okay, because I was like, I started writing like my my own ones because it's like, okay, I may, don't need to come up with. You can use anything. Oh, okay. Uh, yo mama's so fat that when she wears a yellow raincoat, someone yells taxi. <laughs> okay, Rob. <Ro. laughs> yeah, I shitty. like that. Um, like your mama that. is so fat that her measurements are 36, 24, 36, and her other arm is just as big. Go, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Say, uh, uh, your mom is so cheap, uh, she goes to thrift stores to shop for secondhand tampons. Oh, <laughs> oh that's gross. But, <laughs> honey, uh, your mom is so fat. This is uh, how she plays hopscotch. New York, Miami, <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> That was cute, bro. Thanks. Uh, Nicholas. Oh, uh, God. Was, uh, Man, I thought they were going to be going like back I and know. forth like at each no, other. No, the, your mama jokes were always so impersonal that I always said something about the person's mother. Your mom is fucking ugly. She does a <laughs> shitty sob. You're a fucking terrible person. She has a shitty kid. Go fuck yourself. So that's wow. usually, like, that's that's where that comes from. I was going to say, your mom but, is so fat. She was born on July 7th, 8th, and <laughs> <laughs> I think row one. Yeah. yeah. Row, row one. Yeah. Yeah. I used to do those things. Those, that's what we did in New York. We actually would snap back and forth. Like a lot. Yeah. Like yeah. more than you would think. Like, because I remember all those. Like, you know, your mom is so fat. She has a VCR as a beeper. That's old school. Yeah. That's Jesus. how long I've been doing it. We didn't do that. It was just brutal. Like, the, I'm just going to say really, terrible things about your mom. Really, you cry and leave. really jugular stuff. Yeah, the worst yeah, one really, I ever heard somebody ever say is they were like, yo, mama's so fat, she almost swallowed you when you were born. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> yeah. oh, God. Rude. I know, right? I told, I told one kid, yeah, your, your mom is so shitty. She's the reason your dad died of cancer. Oh, so, wow. yeah, like, like, We just went hard. Like what? It was just, it was just like straight Stop to the jugular. We would rip each other's throats out. Like, yeah. And we meant, like, we meant it because these were kids I didn't like. So, Jesus, Nick's wow. mama's yeah. so mean she ate his last pizza and that's why he's well, all mean right now. my mom's a fucking saint, okay? So <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy you. Man do this is saint. So, so I, 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 whenever I, my I, buddies are like, yo, your mom's a horse, I'm like, 
You've met my mother. She's a saint, and you're aware of this. You, you, you should see me in front of my mom. You should go on your mama on MTV and say <laughs> that. You've met my mother, and she's a saint. She's and a saint. that's the you end of that. that. Day one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. All right, so Nick, on Saturday night, you're going to be on Laughs. They're going to be showing your episode. Yeah, on Laughs on Fox, we shot at the uh, the Comedy Hideaway in uh, Goleta. It was a great show, dude. So really, it was one of those crowds that I was like, Man, how many mushrooms did they put in the food? Because everyone's <laughs> laughing like ridiculous. That's it's like, awesome. Oh, it's no. fun. Yeah, it's a fun it was, show. Yeah, I haven't done it yet. Super fun and show. You're, so and all, you're also on okay. Big Fish next Tuesday at 10. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's get down to the nitty gritty. You're we, should, we should all just be on Big, Big Fish, Fish next Tuesday. Tuesday at 10. And <laughs> actually, I'm also at the Ontario Improv next Tuesday Ooh. at 8. Oh. I think. But which one are you actually going to push Tuesday. on that? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm doing Big Fish. Okay, so they got on Laughs on Fox, and Laughs said, hey, we need you to promote, like, a show. We need a show for you to promote that's after August 30th. And I went, and I reached out to a couple of buddies to see if I could, you know, oh, you know, maybe a halfway yeah. decent show. And then uh, it was real short notice, so I couldn't really get anything. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to, it's at midnight. There's probably, like, I don't know who's going to be watching. There might just be comics. And so I told Swan, I was like, dude, I want to push Big Fish. <laughs> Awesome. I want to push Big that Fish. That is awesome. So I gave him, so it's going to be, say, it's going to say, Nick Petrillo, you can see him at Big Fish in Glendale on September 2nd. That's awesome. So Incredible. I was, and I told him, I was like, if anybody, if anybody actually sees that and shows up, I will eat whatever shirt I'm wearing. So I will definitely. That is incredible. Yeah. You're a good promo <laughs> person though, because I remember that I hadn't been to the spot to work on sets in years, mm -hmm. in like years. And the one day I end up going, I see you there. And the guy that runs it's like, this guy hasn't been here in forever, but we're so happy when he comes. Give it up for Nick Petrello. <laughs> and I'm like, this is a coffee open mic here. Oh, it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah. LG. I love LG. Yeah, he's, LG he's, Ross. I've never been in the spot. Yeah, he's know. awesome. Oh, it's, the spot's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's a really good place to work out, especially if you have something to do later that night because it happens at 2 p.m. on a Saturday. So, oh, really? yeah, you can just go... Get your get your quick workout in, and then go do productive things besides. Comedy. You said workout at first. I'm like, oh, Jim go. Uh, Nick goes to the no, gym, and then I'm like, no. Oh, look yeah. look yeah. at me. Do I look like I'd ever talk about a gym? <laughs> no. I just love that, that after you do your set, they can offer you tags and stuff and give you advice. Nick just walks right off the stage. He's like, see you later. No, no, no. Well, no, only because there was nobody. I actually do. I used to when I would rec I record my sets there, yeah. and I actually leave it running. To gather some of the, I know some guys are like, you know, I don't want the, I don't want the, ta I don't want anybody telling me how to yeah. do comedy. But I'm like, you, you never know when someone's gonna say something that maybe, oh, yeah. that, maybe, maybe the exact thing they say you don't use, but it pushes your brain in an avenue that you haven't yeah. thought of. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, dude, fuck it, I'll steal your thoughts. So <laughs> Seriously, just, just give me your thoughts and also your bank account number. So that's <laughs> your social cute. security number, your social security, and your mother's maiden name, <laughs> <laughs> and your favorite pet. <laughs> First card, don't forget that one. <laughs> that favorite pet from childhood. Oh my god. <laughs> the street that you grew up on. Uh, <laughs> They're going to know all your passwords. Yeah. Where you were born. Uh, <laughs> where blood, you met your spouse. Blo blood type. That's, that's So Ontario me. Improv and Big Fish next Tuesday and laughs. Yes. Miss Roe Delagrazi, where are you going to be? I'm going to be at Ontario too next week at the, some American Legion. <laughs> I don't know. Just not the improv. <laughs> I'm going to be at the improv, the Ontario Improv at the end of September on Stoner Rob show. Okay. So, and then I'm in San Diego at the Comedy Palace a couple times. I'm also, if you want, I'm going to be waiting online for the new Dunkin' Donuts to open up. In <gasps> Me San too. Oh, oh, go with you. Let's do it. Why? That place yeah, is going to go not that good. Yeah, in Santa Monica. If you're on the first 150, you get a swag bag. Oh, my God. And then I might be with person you. person online, you get free coffee for a year. Ro, do you want to meet up? We can carpool. Yeah, my friend's coming with me. Yeah, oh, let's, let's do, do it. it. Oh, I'm so, I'm so excited. Nick, you want to go to a bar? Yeah. I am so excited. It's oh my, my we gotta God. go early, 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 With no early. Lines? I will <laughs> bring lawn chairs and we can sit. Yeah, I'm totally down. This is I'm girl so shit excited. happening. No, I love it. So I love it. No, it's it's not. People love Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin Dunkin They're the only it's all, people. It's not that great. They're what? the only people that do no. the strawberry glaze no. with the colored sprinkles. Okay, and also Krispy Kreme. I like you to grab swans. No. Have you ever seen her eat? No. Okay, listen. Keep your hands away from her. Listen. They have French vanilla, the they best French, French vanilla, vanilla Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin donuts. Coffee. I'm sorry, Tim Coffee. Hortons is better. Life, no. Cre no. Krispy Kreme no, is no, better. No. Life has become even better in LA because oh, we are having you. a Dunkin' Donuts. Thank and you. I'm going to be there at 2 a.m. Me too. Do you too. stop in Barstow every time you go to Vegas because they have a Dunkin' Donuts what? there? They do? Yeah. They have one in the airport oh, too. Oh my God. In Vegas. I will drive, I to, I will drive to Barstow. It's like telling a little kid that you saw Santa in Barstow. I can't believe that. I was in Victorville the other night. I should have gone. Do you realize that was one of the main reasons I didn't want to leave Houston, Texas? The only I reason like, I didn't want to leave Houston, Texas you know, is they have Dunkin' uh, Donuts. Your guest oh. last week, Buck? Yeah. When he, Because I did his show back in February. Yeah. I had no voice. 
Yeah, I know, because it's a 45-minute set that they have every comic. Do. That one? Oh, no, I had a 10-minute set. I okay. just had no voice because I was in Vegas the two days before the Briggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah, was yeah, no yeah. sleep yeah. there. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm excited for yeah. a Dunkin' Donuts day. I'm really excited. I'm going to be at a lot of places. You can check out my website, but I'm just saying I'm really excited about the Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> That's one place you will definitely be, is <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts. And Come you see stay, me there. And then, if you see her at Dunkin' Donuts, stay out of the way, yeah. okay? Yeah, I'm there. <laughs> Nikki, where are you going to be? You can actually catch me in row tonight, yeah, tonight at Stir Lounge in Sherman Oak. Show starts at 8. It's free. It's an actually really good lineup. I love Julio Gonzalez. Yeah, Julio's great. He he. Oh, my God. He has the best merch ever. I know. Subway. Subway. Oh, and Subway, instead yeah. of Subway, he has a shirt that says Subway. I forgot. I'm going to be at the Comedy Hideaway on Friday night. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Santa Barbara. Santa That's Barbara. Awesome. Yeah. On State Street? Yes. Yes. Is there more than one in Santa Barbara? No, there's, yeah, there's, there's That's multiple the one for the things laughs. going on. That's yeah. the one for the last. I yeah. love when I'm around, Ro, because my That's Awesome turns into That's Awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You adopt the regional accent. I which do. Is good. Yeah. yeah. You should see when I'm with Melissa Shoshahi, I talk like a Persian. I'm like, oh, you're, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. a yeah. Yes, very oh, much so. Yeah. Yeah. Boston right. guys get me. Yeah. Oh, I love Boston. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's I work with a girl who's from Boston, and I just start mimicking her accent yeah. as soon as she starts. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going to be, Dave? Big Fish on Tuesday at 10. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be with Billy. me at the Fish on Tuesday at 10. And stumbling home at about 12. Stumbling? Nice. What happened to your fruit boots? What oh, are I still got the fruit. Boots? My rollerblades. I haven't done, I haven't used my rollerblades to get there in like a year because I kept hurting myself. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do oh, that. Man. I well, used to host the show. Well, if you catch Dave on his fruit boots, say hi to him Yeah, on the way out. All right, that was another fun-filled edition of Woo. Battle of the Sexes, get Battle of the Blabberwockies. You gotta give the trophy. Oh, yeah. Oh, I get a trophy. This is what happens when Dave's Yay. the main host. He gets off track. Dave Where's also is hungover still. He is hungover. Yeah, it's okay. I'm okay. expecting it. We gotta give a clap to oh, Rose whoa. since she's the winner. Whoa! She gets the bobble. Oh, it's a microphone. It's a microphone. microphone. If you're a Dodger fan, she just got a Vin. I'm a Yankee fan, but I like the microphone. Yeah, but I like the microphone. That's really cool. That's cool. All right, guys. Thank you so much to our two guests, Nick Petrello and Ro DeLaGrazzi. Woo! Woo! We'll see you next week. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Anything you can be, I can be greater. Sooner or later, I'm greater than you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am.